Well, thank you so much, sir, for being a, a wonderful and important part of the ASMA Second Convention Awards 2018. So before we start, a quick brief about yourself and the organization of yours. Yeah, so my name is Mahadev Jaiswal. I am a director of Indian Institute of Management, Sambalpur. And uh, I have my uh, executive MBA, PGPX, from MIT Sloan, US. My PhD in Computer Science, Delhi University and senior Fulbright fellow from Carnegie Mellon University, US. I also taught at IIM Ahmedabad, IIM Indore, and University of California. Well, I could say I am blessed to have a conversation with you. Thank you. I don't want to name it an interview because I am going to learn so much from this conversation. Uh, so, first of all, your take on ASMA as a platform for academicians. What's your take? Yeah, so ASMA uh, initiative is something which is very pioneer because now uh, entire education is shifting uh, from physical to blended, I will not say completely digital, it's a blended, partly digital and partly physical. And asthma is going to, you know, define the way out and also uh, reach out to people from diverse background and groups so that they can learn from each other. Yeah. Well, absolutely true. We are trying, or rather I being a part of asthma, are trying really hard yeah. to bridge that gap. That's right. And I hope we make uh, good value for the industry right. under your guidance. Right. Sir, uh, Going to the student perspective, uh, how do you think the Indian education is, is rising in terms of content towards digitalization and socialization? And what do you see in, in the future? What is coming to us? Yeah, so uh, the way uh, industry, for example, uh, service industry, including the uh, transport service, has completely disrupted with the emergence of Ola and Uber. Right, right, absolutely. The entire banking digital payment uh, has disrupted the entire payment systems. And same way, the electronic uh, commerce has disrupted the entire sales market. I'm sure uh, the education systems is also going through the same process of digital disruption uh, due to emergence of social media and many other digital technologies which are going to redefine the way and the pedagogy of an entire education system in India, not only India, but all over the world. Well, I, I so agree with that. And you being the guiding force, sir, want yeah. to know what is your piece of advice that you want to give to the higher education institutions who are adopting social media slowly and steadily? What, what's your take on that? Yeah, so I would uh, uh, like to you know, uh, give my perspective what we have done at IIM Sambalpur. Uh, we have introduced recently a flipped classroom. Right. The flip, uh, in flipped classroom, how it is dif different from the traditional classroom is like this. In traditional classroom, the entire discussion and learning and uh, the entire education happens in the classroom and the project goes to home. Now who knows who does the project at home? In a school it is basically done by the parents and in the higher education it is done by somebody else, Correct. not necessarily by the students Student, themselves. Yes. And in the class it is basically what they learn which is already there in the book. Right. And using PPT and kind of conversation and lecture mode it is not very effective. The human brain captures more effectively, something which they do themselves right. as an experience. So, in a traditional classroom, the learning is confined to what is already learned. Right. Where in the flipped classroom, the entire learning which in the traditional classroom happens in the class, that is PPT and discussions, will happen online. And which can happen anytime. So, learning anytime, but off the class, not wow. in the class. And in the class, only problem solving, live problems, real projects will be discussed, puzzled, which is not solvable, but Every students in a group and professors will work together and create new knowledge which is not known. And this model is going to completely disrupt the learning. And I'm sure if this is done, we are the first I am to start with. And it is done properly. I'm sure the entire management education definitely going to disrupt. And we, maybe some of our institute will also get ranked top in the world. Well, I hope that you achieve what you're saying and I'm sure you will achieve this kind of passion and, compa and the compassion that you have in your uh, efforts and work. Uh, well, that is truly wonderful. So, uh, since we're talking about uh, uh, internal topics, could you share some light on legal licenses and, and, and so on and so forth? Yeah, so what is uh, the major challenge today in a classroom is that how, where do the content come from? Majority of the contents are foreign publishers. Right. In our case, in management education, we source from the Harvard publications, Publication House. Mm -hmm. And we pay more than 1.5 crore annually. Wow. Now, this much of amount, every B schools and every institute cannot afford. Even we cannot afford for a long time. And uh, uh, so, if, if you shift to digital uh, blended learning, split classroom learning, 
it will be very very difficult to source the content because the number of license will be many fold and the cost will be many fold and therefore it will not be affordable and education will become too expensive right we discovered this as one of the major challenge while shifting to flipped classroom however we discovered that this can be a great opportunity for us to also come into the publication of live project which we discuss in a flipped classroom is a part of open access cases wow. and we make it free to all other institute uh, for the, their consumption in the classroom well, that is so wonderful that yeah. is there's that's moving beyond uh, the limits of an institution and being an uh, service provided to the country that's that right. is that's going right. to the next levels that that's is right. congratulations Thanks. on the endeavors Thanks. Thanks. well uh, <clears throat> so now coming back to asma yeah. uh, we are launching As asma tv and we would want such innovations to be on the television channel and going to the masses so that people now who are influenced by the youtube or other digital social medias learn uh, so much things from me what's your take on asma tv sir so uh, it's it's i think it is very much demand required because there is no education tv and in particular digital educations and if asma comes forward we are very much willing to cooperate and collaborate and bring out all our innovations to all other part of the world and country so that they can also see that how disruptions is taking place in our institute and they can also initiate the same thing so they are not lagging behind from this kind of change wow so we do want to be uh, you yeah. know the leaders in terms of content creation i'm sure with your support we will achieve that mark so any advice Uh, as the industry leader that you want to give to other institution or the academicians for the development of the uh, industry yeah so uh, industry uh, if all are shifting to digital and if you do not have a digital quotient if you do not have a digital mindset how to work how to take decision in a digital world because you know the kind of change which is happening through blockchain uh, through various cryptography technologies which is going to be you know completely disruption in entire organizations and business and therefore what is needed today is that a massive exercise on training and development for faculty as well as industry professionals and maybe if tomorrow asma come out and some institution come out with a big institutions on digital learning itself it will be great contributions and maybe some academy can also be developed around this so that entire digital transformations can be taught as a proper course how to really change from the traditional systems to a digital enable uh, disruption systems Well, on the note of seeing you again in the future and doing some wonderful work with yep. you, I want to end this conversation and thank you for your presence because it means so much to not only people who are meeting you but also people who are going to watch you on the internet on YouTube because yep. uh, that's the kind of vibes you have, sir. That's the kind of energy you have. So yep. thank you so much for being here. Thank uh, you very much and wish you all the best. Thank you so thank much, sir. Thank you.